welcome to today's video. I haven't vlogged in a while. We've been super busy. We have family in town staying with us. Um, and so it's just been a little chaotic. Um, I'll probably talk more about that later. Me and I just got in the car to go to her podiatrist appointment. We got her insurance all figured out. So she went to the pediatrician last week. We're doing a follow up on her foot or her feet this morning, an x-ray and an appointment. Um, so I'll update you on that later. Um, but yeah, um, we've got a lot going on. Riley is with Nathaniel while he's working. We put her in her crib because she's sleeping in his office at night because um, his family is staying in like her room, the guest room. Um, so she's been sleeping in his office at night. So she's in her crib right now with a snack and Coke melon and she's just hanging out. So I don't know how long that'll last, but hopefully like at least a good chunk of the time we're gone. Hopefully we won't be gone for too long. But Mia does have an x-ray and an appointment, so I don't know. It's all in the same building in the same area. I just don't know how quickly they do it, so we'll see. So we're hanging out after nap time. Riley's over there in her pack and play. Um, she woke up when I came in to feed Mia, and I just handed her her snack and turned on a show. And then when Mia's done eating, I'll change Riley and get her out. Um, but that's what we've been doing while well, Nathaniel's family is here. They actually left this afternoon, so Riley will be back in her room tonight. We're just gonna move the pack and play down there for like a night or two until we have time to put together the crib again, take it down, put it back together downstairs. So we had a rough morning. Um, she had her podiatrist appointment and that, I mean, it was fine, but she had to get an x-ray before the appointment started. They have you check in an hour before your appointment so you can get in for the x-ray. It's all in the same like waiting area, all that stuff. So like we didn't have to run around the hospital or anything like that but it took the entire hour before they called us back. I think her appointment was, was at 11.50 and they called us back for the x-ray at like 11.40. So I don't know why we had to get there so early. She was getting fussy by that time. She slept for a little bit and then she woke up and I just kind of had to walk her around in the stroller while we waited and she was so fussy. She did really good with the x-ray. Um, she just wiggled around and didn't cry or anything like that. Um, and then she was fine during her appointment too. Um, and then she was kind of fussy on the way home and when we got home she was really upset she was ready to eat ready to take a nap she kind of missed a nap she took a really good nap this afternoon so that's something um but yeah we had to wait forever and then the x-ray appointment was really fast um her feet get insanely cold like when you touch them they're just freezing and when we take her brace off they're purple but i thought it was just because they were so cold but it almost seems like we can never warm them up. So that's kind of why we went in. I had sent a picture to the doctor. Um, and so we went in and she doesn't really know what's going on. So she's basically going to consult with our whole little team for Mia. Um, with the other orthopedic doctor and then um, with a neurosurgeon as well. So she said she'll get back to me. Um, kind of investigate what could possibly be going on. So hopefully it's, I mean, I'm sure it's nothing. Um but hopefully they'll have like some kind of um, remedy for it. I don't know, thicker socks. I'm not sure what we'll need to do um, or if we even can do anything aside from just have her put her socks on. Um, but yeah, I mean the rest of her like usually feels pretty warm, her hands get cold, um, but not all the time, not as much as her feet. So that's what's going on there. Um, this video is going to be a little bit more chit chatty and catching up on just baby stuff um, because she also had a pediatrician appointment last week and she is in the ninth percentile for weight. So she's not gaining as much as she needs to. So we've adjusted her bottles a little bit. I'm feeding her a little bit less, which seems counterintuitive, but I'm feeding her a little bit less in the hopes that she spits up less and she can keep more food in. So I'm giving her two ounces, giving her a five minute break, and then another two ounces. Um, oh, she's gonna start crying, hold on, because she's done with her bottle. Um, I know. Anyway, she did really good this morning not spitting up with the four ounces, but this afternoon she's been spitting up a bunch in the last, like, this feeding, the last, like, 10 minutes. So, I don't know. We'll see, I'm gonna give it a day or two with just moving to the four ounce bottles and see if that works like once her belly kind of settles with it and everything and then if she's still spinning up a bunch the doctor did say we could add um, baby cereal to her bottles to thicken them and see what that does for her um so i ordered that and picked it up today um have that ready to go whenever i think <laughs> hello hello 
Are you gonna spew on me? Are you gonna spew on me? Yeah, hi. Hi, baby bird. Hello. Oh, really? Yeah. You got opinions? <laughs> anyway, um, that's all ready to go when I think we need it. Um, I just, yeah, like I said, I want to give it a day or two just to kind of see where we're at and then we'll move to that. And then she has a weight check um, in about a month. And then her six month appointment a month after that. So we'll check in with the doc with the doctor. Um, I'll check in with him if I feel like we need to before the weight check. But then we'll check in with him during for the weight check and then for her six month appointment. Um, other than that, she's doing pretty good. Huh? You're just gross. You spit up. You need to gain a little bit of weight. You're not chunky enough. You're not chunky enough. Huh? Height and stuff. All oh, that's good. Um. That's what's going on with Mia. Um, nothing like that. Just kind of, we need her to gain weight. And then we're just trying to sort through all her other stuff. I have her six month MRI scheduled. It's a sedated MRI, which sucks. Um, but you know, whatever. She'll be fine. Um, she might just be a little bit cranky that day and groggy. Riley handled the sedated MRI um, pretty well the last, what, two times she's gotten it? One time, I don't remember how many sedated ones she's had. Um, but she handled it pretty good, so. I'm sure Mia will be fine. We'll just have lots of snuggles that day. Um, but that's at the end of April. So that's like the week of Easter. I think it's that Friday. She has her sedated MRI and then she has a neurosurgeon follow up the next week, like a couple days later. So yeah, we'll get an update hopefully on like her surgery and all that kind of stuff at that point. Um, but yeah, I mean, she's a happy girl. You're a happy girl, you just got a lot of stuff going on, but now that we have our insurance figured out, we can email the doctor as much as we need to, call as much as we need to. We're trying to get her into early intervention for some physical therapy. Um, I just filled out an, uh, no, I didn't fill out, I filled out an intake form for Riley for her speech. Um, but the social, me as social worker sent in a referral form for her for that, and then I called and left a voicemail. So hopefully we hear back in the next couple weeks. Social worker said if we don't hear back within like three weeks to just let her know and then I think she'll follow up again with them. So hopefully we can get that moving um, for both of them in the next couple weeks. Um, anyway, yeah. I'm hoping now that Nathaniel's family, it was nice having them here, like I enjoy having them around, but it was adding three people to our already full house and adjusting where our kids were sleeping and stuff. So I'm looking forward to our routine um, returning to normal a little bit. Um, I'm looking forward to this not being in here and look at this mess. Our room is just awful because Riley's been napping in here at nap time so I don't have any time to clean up in here. By the end of the night, like, when Mia goes to bed, I'm just ready for bed. I've been so tired lately and just like, I'm definitely an introvert so also having more people in our house just makes me more drained. So, I've been so tired. I've been going to bed when Mia goes to bed. Um, or like shortly after and I just don't have the energy to clean but I think I'm gonna try to do like a cleaning video of putting our stuff back together um, making my room up again getting in control of what's going on in here Mia's been napping in the laundry room when Riley naps in here so I think tomorrow tomorrow or Thursday or Friday I'm not sure which days like the rest of this week possibly even I'm gonna have her continue to nap in the laundry room as long as like no one needs the laundry, which she actually sleeps okay in there when the dryer's like going because it's pretty quiet. Um, no one can go in there and switch their laundry, but like if it's yeah. running, mm -hmm. yeah, if it's running well, if she's in there, it doesn't really matter. So I might have her sleep in there. I can roll her mini crib in there. Um, it's right next to our room. Um, yeah. You want to sleep in the laundry room some more? So I might roll her in there the next couple days just so I can deep clean in here. I want to like clean the ceiling fan. I want to just like spring clean our room pretty much um, since I can. Um, and then yeah, I need to put their room back together. I'm probably going to clean up. Oh, like the house is actually pretty clean. Um, His family did a good job of like cleaning up after themselves and stuff. I mean, there's lots of dishes and stuff like that because there's so many people, but they like wash their sheets before they left and stuff which is really nice so i don't have to do that um but i might do a quick like wipe down of the kitchen and stuff just yeah. just for fun um 
I might do some cleaning downstairs too. But anyway, yeah, I'm just looking forward to like cleaning and just kind of resetting after having guests over. Um, I think his cousin and I think his wife and daughter. I think they're all coming. Yeah. Um, his cousin's daughter is actually she's three days younger than me. She was born um, a couple days after her. Um, I think she was born the day that we left the hospital and came home. Um, so that's kind of neat. They live far away, though. They live a few hours away, so we don't get to see them too often anymore. Um, they recently moved, which kind of sucks. They were living, like, nearby, but they moved. Um, but I think they're all coming for dinner tomorrow. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if his wife and the baby are coming. But I know his cousin is at least coming. So they're coming for dinner tomorrow, so we just see some more family. We're done with guests for a little bit, and Nathaniel and I are going on vacation in a couple weeks. So I'm excited. Um, it'll be a good break after like kind of a busy month and just a lot of busyness with this one. You know your problems. You know your problems, huh, happy girl? You just got lots of appointments coming up, huh? That's okay. Riley's starting swim lessons at the end of March, so that's something fun too. When we get back from our trip um, a couple days later. She's starting on the 30th, and I think I'm going to take her to those. Um, I think we decided it was easier for me to take her. She couldn't do them. Nice thing is, like, when I call the same school to schedule, they have um, a 6.30 class, like, in the evening. So I can basically take her after Nathaniel gets off work, and he can take Mia, and it'll be good. Um, we don't have to worry about, like, finding a babysitter or whatever. We have family that would be able to help, but um, it's just nice. We don't have to worry about it. Um, plus, we can get some energy out before bedtime, and hopefully that means Riley won't wake up in the middle of the night and, play and be crazy. Yeah. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for this video, honestly. I don't think I don't think we're doing anything else the rest of the day. I'm going to enjoy the quiet of the house. Um, she'll go down for another nap soon. I'll go downstairs and play with Riley, get her dinner going, I think. I just wanted to catch up really quick and then hopefully we can get back into a routine and vlog some more and where's your mom? <laughs> yeah, hopefully we can um, get back in a routine soon and I can make some more videos. Um, <laughs> you're so cute. I think I've got um, a little toddler clothing haul I might do because I bought Riley a bunch of spring and summer clothes and I'll probably share what I'm going to put in their Easter baskets too. But I have to go shopping for that. She is going to spew. So I better go. <laughs> Look at that little grandma face. I love it. I love your little turtle face. You're so cute. I think she's teething too. So she grumpy. Alright, well that's it. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to see more. And I will see you next time. Bye.